testing the Drutonix wireless probe for on a Haas milling machine and I'm going to be calibrating it and series of videos here for you as a little instructional on how to use it. and um, first off I need to verify with a manual gauge just some measurements and some coordinates so that we have something to base our wireless results from so I, what I have here is a Heimer gauge it's a manual 3D gauge for setting work coordinate system in your machine I'm sure you've seen one of these and I have a calibration ring in my vise and it's made by Sun and Company it's a little bit under 750 bore so we're gonna use that for the calibration portion of it and but for right now what we're gonna do is gonna find our origin from the surface of the table and set it to the surface of the top of this ring and then we're gonna find our origin in the center of this hole and use those to compare against whenever we're using the wireless gauge so hand jog down here and set our zero off the table okay and what I do is I come to zero there on the, on the gauge and I'll come back to the control here and then what I'll do is I'll hit MDI hand jog and that will zero out these numbers on the side here and then I can use these to quickly reference off of as far as my distance as I go back up so I'm going to hand jog back up and we're going to find our Z height of this part Okay, zero, and then we can see on the screen here, the surface there is 4.6255 inches off of the table. So I'm going to go down here, and for right now we're just going to use G57 to store these values just so we can look at them and reference them later. So this would be 4.6255, F1, G57. Now we're going to go back up and we're going to find the center of this bore. So we're going to do X first, jog over, find the side of the side of the part. Same thing again, come back over here, and the I hand jog zero, this zeroes out our numbers. And we'll go back here, find the other side. on our screen that shows us at 0.750 so half of that we come down to our calculator here 0.375 X back over we're gonna look for 375 on this and 375 here that is our X center we're gonna do the Y now Same thing, and the eye zeroes it out. Back to the other side. Okay, this was over here, it's 0.7496. 0.6 divided by 2 equals. So, y back. So we're looking for 37.48 on our screen, which is half of our diameter that we showed earlier. 37.48 offset, we'll set our Y. So that is the center of the part. Now, I've already done this several times. I'm pretty certain that that's the center of the part. In good practice, you should go back and do your X and Y one more time just to make sure you're in the center. But trust me when I say we're pretty well centered on it right now. So next video we're going to come back and we're going to probe this bore with the Deutronics probe and see what it comes up with as far as how close it comes to the manual sensor